They stick with the team that ended that match. It's Ronnie Whelan's second comeback game in four days after a six-month absence, while up front, Ronnie Rosenthal will partner Ian Rush, who's now scored twice in one and a half games since being dropped. Middleton's return has been replaced by Nicky Moen, and with first-choice goalkeeper Stephen Pears also injured, Ian Ironside will deputise. Michael Peck of Kendall is the referee. Liverpool in their changed strip of green. And at kick-off, Liverpool six points above Middlesbrough, who are third from bottom. Paul Wilkinson, Middlesbrough really desperate for some of his goals this afternoon. Defeat for them really would leave them in a precarious position. For Liverpool, the situation wouldn't be quite so bad. First free kick in Middlesbrough's favour. And Wilkinson's only scored two in the last 20 matches. And it's goals that Middlesbrough really require if they're to pull away from the three places at the bottom of the Premier League. Hendry went down. Leidsman gives a corner. Scored a hat-trick against Blackburn, but that seems a long time ago. Hasn't found the net since John Hendry. to the near post and really no difficulty at all there for David James and Middlesbrough might want to rethink that and have somebody on that near post if they get another corner Rob Jones always intended for Rush laid back by Andy Peake oh and they've given it away a bit sloppy Rosenthal this is McManaman just drifting Away from Faulkner, shot by Ronnie Whelan. But it is good for everybody really in football to see Ronnie Whelan back. Now 31, Republic of Ireland International. Six months out of the game with knee and thigh injuries. Now looking as good as ever, according to Graham Souness. Hendry with a little bit of space. Wilkinson's peeled off to the right. Still Hendry. The finish was a bit disappointing, but he's a real barrel-chested player, John Hendry, and so difficult to shake off when he's in possession of the ball. Nice little flick on, Rosenthal's arrived, the keeper thought about coming. Corner's been given. getting on the end of that little break from Ian Rush corner already taken now McManaman this is John Barnes whips in the left foot pushed away it's in the back of the net Hutchison there were three Liverpool players on that back post it's taken Liverpool just over 10 minutes to open the scoring in what is really a crucial relegation match for both sides Ian Ironside looked to have made a good save, but you could always see that John Barnes was thinking about using the favoured left foot. All he could do was push it away. Rush couldn't quite get on it. Mark Wright was there, and so too was Don Hutchison for his 10th goal of the season. And that eases Liverpool's problems. A win in midweek, and some points here today for Liverpool would certainly put the smile back onto Graham Souness's face got the Merseyside derby coming up next week against Everton and I'm still to play away this season at Blackburn, Manchester City and Norwich here's Rosenthal all the pressure coming from Liverpool in this opening quarter of an hour and Ian Ironside has saved his side from going 2-0 down but where, where were the defenders Liverpool corner this time they take it short Burrows into Barnes Whelan with a chance to go for the target and to lift it over the defenders as they streamed out and put it just a little bit too high quickly taken Henry trying to bustle through it's an own goal by Nickel. oh Steve Nickel. 
terrible mistake. James has started to come. Misunderstanding between him and the defender. And maybe Nickel was just trying to lift it back to James. Only he would know what was in his mind. It was the quick free kick. And it was Hendry who caused the uncertainty. Yes, he's trying to give it back to the keeper, but James has come off his line. And poor, poor David James. Well, he has clipped five clean sheets in nine matches since his recall to the first team before today, but he didn't really have any chance there. Nickel, well, it's a drop ball. And with no disrespect to the referee, I would suggest that's a get-out. crescendo of abuse directed at the man in the middle, Mr. Michael Peck. And now one or two silly challenges, and that is often what happens when the players perhaps feel the referee hasn't given the right decision. That's Mark Wright and Paul Wilkinson, absolutely eyeball to eyeball. And while the referee is having a chat with somebody, it's uh, Nicky Mowen, there was uh, serious intent between Paul Wilkinson and Mark Wright, which very fortunately didn't explode into the violence which was just below the surface. Well, the players are quick to exercise their own authority when they feel decisions haven't been given. It was clearly a foul on Rush by Moen, but it was the confrontation between Wilkinson and Mark Wright afterwards, which he just never seemed to see at all. Mark Walters lifted it high. Graham Sunis approaching the second anniversary of his appointment as Liverpool manager. March the 27th, 1991. Took the side to the FA Cup success in his first season. And sixth place in Division 1. But it's a different season now. No trophy for Liverpool, and Premier League status is the important thing to hold on to. Steve Nicholl. Oh, McManaman's away, he turned Derek White, he must score, great save! Oh! No wonder the Borough players have thrown their arms around Ironside. Surely I wasn't alone in shouting goal. McManaman running in, point blank on the keeper. Ironside stood up as long as he needed to. Walters who now plays it in. Right's header, Ironside has punched. 80s musto. And that's a, a Liverpool throw. What a good job he does for Middlesbrough when he has to come in to replace the regular man, Stephen Pears swept away by Derek White to Paul Wilkinson he's just got Hendry to tie and find and there were two covering defenders but Middlesbrough have the throw and from their point of view the game is back in the sunlight Andy Peak, Chris Morris they certainly push players forward Middlesbrough when they get possession Hignett This is Phillips. Hendry will catch this. And it came off David Burrows. Middlesbrough have the corner. Nicky Mowen has jogged up to stand on the near post. James has come all the way and took it very confidently. Then was disappointed that there wasn't an outlet for quickly and it was a really good chance which Hendry had uh, carved out really he went for the corner what a curler it needed to be precise and it was almost spot on by Wilkinson what a thoughtful figure Lenny Lawrence looks Musto to Phillips Faulkner left it tackle came in very late by Mark Wright Phillips is number three
stop by Hignan. Now, this is Hutchison for Liverpool, but there's uh, nobody forward. Free kick is given anyway. Who would be a manager at a time like this? Header on was by Barnes, Hutchison, Rush, doesn't miss those, does he? 2-1 Liverpool. 81 minutes gone, Ironside beaten for a second time, and you just knew that Ian Rush wouldn't miss a chance like that. So, Graham Souness' decision to drop him a little while ago has brought dividends exactly the way he would have wanted. Underneath Ironside, Goal number three for Ian Rush in consecutive games. And that may be enough to secure the three points. Uh, Liverpool with 39 points before this match began. Will be happy to have 42 to 9.